John's belt at dinner benches and I've got my mate Stuart with me. We're both uh, got new machines. I've got the Equinox 900 and Stuart's got the uh, Manticore. Oh, we've got it out, 50, 53, what's this? Oh, we got one. we got a Jordan coin. There you go. That is one old wheel to probably a cannon. That cannon's up here. I am wheel and that was 57 Oh here we go Oh, we've got Dave here now. You've had a few coins, haven't you, Dave? Aye. You've had a few coins, mate. Three. Three. Doing well. Better than the rest of us. <laughs> Just there. Oh, I'm sticking that hole up. We had some fancy, fancy glass. Look. Look at that fancy glass. <laughs> Something different. <laughs> oh, part of a toy train thing or oh, trailer. <laughs> what have you got, pal? It's the guy with the ball leg. He's that. Oh, here we go. Yep. Oh, yeah. Georgia Pay. Sixpence. Well done, Stuart. Right, Stuart, what number have you got? 45, both ways. 45, crack in. Up and down, in and out, you know. Oh, nice signal. That's nice, isn't it? I think it's to the left, your left, by the way. I think it's to your left. Yeah. It's always bossing me around, you know. <laughs> I'm putting that on. Oh, well, there she is. There you go. The ball guy. Edward the Seventh. Yes. That's better. Jolly good. Oh, we got heat there. Just there. 80 buckle straight down Now there Hey buckle It's like a 19th century buckle Three. Look at the size of that. I play a coin, but not sure who.
That's kind. Little George the Third or something like that. A bit of George and Potter, eh? Probably a jug or something. Definitely Georgian, which is around about 18th century. You can tell by the colour. Maybe a beer jug. And uh, we're just doing a bit of a, a count up. I've got Stuart with me here from Spinner Disc, Carl's dad. Uh, and uh, so we're just um, showing what we found. Now, Stuart's decided to have a go with the Manticore. So um, I'm going to ask Stuart, what does he think about What do you think about it, Stuart? Uh, it's very good. It's well made. It's very light. And if you just use it in the preset mode till you get used to it, you'll still get excellent depth and separation. I did like it for the separation. So quite happy with the Manticore there, yes. Paul. Well, First time he's used it. Yeah. Hope it's not the last. <laughs> it certainly <laughs> won't be, John. I'll borrow yours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, that's right, yes. Instead of, instead of borrowing the shops. Yeah. <laughs> so let's uh, have a quick, give you a 360 where we've just been detecting. And um, let's look at the finds then. So, all right, Stuart. This is Stuart. We have found a lot. But well, it was a worked out site, though, job, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay, so, uh, just a couple of half pennies. Bag seal. At least you've got silver with a manticore. You probably think he's trying about First World War period. Can't really tell. Uh, might get the date on that, Stuart. Let's have a look. Yeah, 1914. It's just starting of the First World War, that coin. So, soldiers in the 1914 were using that more than likely. Uh, and then we've got. Um, Got uh, Dave. Dove, Dave's come to see. Uh, spend a bit of time with us detecting, up you, mate? Eh? Yeah, yeah. So all three of us. So I'm just going to show you what Dave's found now. So uh, Dave's uh, found. Um, he's got well an old machine. Yeah, he's got an old machine, but a couple of Victorian pennies. Uh, George Edward the um, Edward the Seventh penny. Um, iron. I think it's a gate post type iron uh, fitting of some kind, me personally, but that's what I think it is. Uh, and also he's found a, some broken buckle. So that's what he's got at the moment. <clears throat> and then I have uh, a buckle. Probably 20th century. Um, Victorian pennies. Um, I think that's uh, George the Fifth, that penny, and a George the Third, that penny. So what? four, really, not much. And I'm using the um, the Equinox 900. And, jo and uh, Dave's. Uh, and Dave was using. Golden mask. Golden mask. So it just shows whether it's an old machine or a new machine, you still can pull them out. But you know, we always we always like to try, try new tech and see if it, it can improve in the situation. With a bit of luck, we think we might have done. Anyway, so that's that so far. Uh, thank you very much uh, if you've been watching, and um, I'm going to carry on. The lads are a foam, so I might find some more. If I find some more silver, I'll be back on to show you. Oh, 53. Down there. Oh. Threepenny bit. Half penny of Elizabeth II. Don't believe that. Oh, a bit of a rim off a big jug, I think. Pot, maybe. Not sure about the date, probably early 20th century. 86. Down there. Oh, that is. Oh, I like 
of silver. It is. Oh, look at that. Wow. Well, look at that. Wow, that's, that's brilliant. That's beautiful. Look. Jane. What is it? Silver brooch. Oh, that beautiful that a lot. That is so nice. Look at that. Excellent, 71. Brilliant, eh? Silver, solid silver. Brilliant, yeah, what a beautiful, nice brooch. We'll have a beer of that. Yeah, we're a terrific find today. A uh, First World War silver sweetheart brooch. That's what it is. And all we've got to do now is find who it belongs to. That'd be great. Find the family. I'd love to find the family and give them this brooch as a memento. Love it. So what we're going to do, I'm going to ask the farmer and see if we can find out who the owner is. I'm on my final count up. I've had a long day. Right, here we go then. So we've got Victoria Pennies, George the third half penny, another George the third half penny, I think. I think we're looking at probably George the third half farthing. It's quite quite rare. Uh, George the fifth half penny. Um, George the third half penny. And we got a large coin. And I don't really know what it is. So, I have no idea. Gotta clean it up. Gotta clean it up. Quite a thick one, actually. Actually, it's quite a thick one. And if that's half crown, uh, copper nickel, it could be. It's a big one, it's a big coin. Uh, I don't know, or it could be um, a wheel penny type thing, George III. But it's, it's a big one. That's uh, Elizabeth II, half penny, 1970s. A lot of buckles, uh, different sizes of buckles. And of course, we've got the silver brooch. It's excellent Jane. So I'm looking for a Jane here. So there you go. Silver brooch. What's it like on the other side? The uh, the pin is missing. But it's uh, really fancy. Yeah, nice. Excellent. So, for today, until a few days, I think, I'm just going to give myself a rest tomorrow and, and think where else we're going to go. Another coin shoot on another footpath somewhere. I'm going to get some more footpath, uh, some more uh, permissions as well. So, keep it going, keep it going. Well, I hope you enjoyed that bit of a hunt. I'm with my mates uh, during the, the morning and slightly early afternoon, and then I've finished it off with my bits. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll catch you on uh, another adventure! Hey, I do like them. Catch you later.